Inchy inchworm. Inchworm reads e e e. Inchworm reads e e e. Inchworm reads e e e. Inchy Inchworm was in the Inchworm Hospital. Inchy Inchworm was ill with the squeaky, scratchy, itchy pox. Inchy Inchworm shared the hospital room with Chris Cricket. Chris Cricket and Inchy Inchworm became good friends. Aunt Isabel came to visit Inchy Inchworm. She brought Inchy Inchworm a gift. Do not open the gift until after your nap. Said Aunt Isabel. After Aunt Isabel left, Inchy Inchworm and Chris Cricket became sleepy. As Inchy Inchworm drifted off to sleep, he wondered, "What could Aunt Isabel's gift possibly be?" The minutes quickly passed. Inchy Inchworm and Chris Cricket slept soundly. Later. Chris Cricket opened his eyes. Slowly, Inchy Inchworm opened his eyes too. Inchy Inchworm stretched his little body out in his long green pajamas. Inchy Inchworm did not feel as sick as before. Hello, sleepyhead! Chirped Chris Cricket. Hello yourself, Chris Cricket. Ah, <sighs> yawned Inchy Inchworm. I think I feel better. The vitamins must be helping me get rid of the itchy box. Open your gift, begged Chris Cricket. Let's see what it is. Of course, exclaimed Inchy Inchworm as he lifted the gift onto his hospital bed. I surely don't want to miss opening this gift. Inchy Inchworm opened his gift. It was a box of paints. There was a long space that held two black paintbrushes. There was a row of colored circles filled with paints. Inchy Inchworm loved it. If you would like to paint a picture, you may use my paper, offered Chris Cricket. My parents gave me fifteen sheets of drawing paper to use in the hospital. I would appreciate it," Chris Cricket said, Inchy Inchworm politely. "I will share my paints with you. I have two paintbrushes. Let's paint an Indian picture," suggested Chris Cricket. "Great!" exclaimed Inchy Inchworm as he handed Chris Cricket a paintbrush. "We will paint an Indian's house. We will make a teepee." We will make an Indian to live in the teepee," sang out Chris Cricket as he picked up his paintbrush. They painted a tall, red-skinned Indian. The tall Indian had deer skin clothes. They painted the teepee. It was shaped like a thin triangle. It had a small triangle for a door. Inchy Inchworm painted the triangle teepee yellow. Then Inchy Inchworm decided to paint a pretty blue sky behind the yellow teepee. A big blob of blue paint plopped right on the yellow teepee. Inchy Inchworm watched as the blue paint and the yellow paint mixed together. It made a big green spot. Inchy Inchworm said, "Chris Cricket excitedly." You have made something new. If you mix blue and yellow, you will make green. Look at the yellow teepee with the spot of green on it. Wow! cried Inchy Inchworm. I am going to mix yellow and red too. Chris Cricket watched as Inchy Inchworm began mixing colors. You made orange, chirped Chris Cricket. Put orange stripes on your teepee. 
Just then, Dr. B. Well soon walked into the hospital room. Come, see our picture, invited Inchi Inchworm and Chris Cricket. Dr. B. Well soon looked at the Indian picture. Dr. B. Well soon looked at his little friends too. Your Indian picture is nice, chuckled Dr. B. Well soon. But you should see the two painted Indians sitting in your beds. Dr. B. Well soon held up a mirror. Inchy Inchworm and Chris Cricket looked at themselves in the mirror. Inchy Inchworm and Chris Cricket had pain on their hands. They had pain on their faces. You boys are much better already, said Dr. B. Well soon. I think you both will be able to go home in just a few days. Yay! chirped Chris Cricket as he stretched out his long legs happily. Soon I'll be playing kickball again. And I will be able to inch without itching, added Inchy Inchworm. Hump, bump, hooray! Hump, bump, hooray! Inchy Inchworm inch up and down for joy.